Torah in two minutes ish. You know, I got to listen to a lot of smart people give a lot of Divrei Torah this week, and it wasn't easy for them because it's Parshat Titzaveh. This is eh, not the most exciting Torah portion that we got out there, uh, but it is the only one after the book of Genesis where the name of Moses isn't mentioned. Of all the Torah from Genesis, uh, outside of the book of Genesis, of the other four books of the Torah, it's the only one where Moses is not mentioned by name. And there are a lot of ideas as to why this might be. Some people say, well, this is the Torah portion where uh, Aaron, uh, Moses' brother, becomes the Kohen Gadol, the high priest. And so Moses steps back to make sure that his brother has his moment in the spotlight and he's just being a nice guy. Others say Moses is disappointed that he's not named the high priest and he's sulking. And the reason is not mentioned is because he's sort of off screen during a little fit that he doesn't, uh, they didn't get what he wanted. Maybe we can, I was thinking that maybe we could combine these two, these two ideas, which is to say, maybe, maybe it's Moses off screen because, not that it's Aaron's moment, but Aaron's picked. Moses is upset, and he's not sulking. He's just working his way through it. One of the key skills that we learn in life is to deal with the situation that comes when we don't get what we want. And when we don't get what we want, we can act like toddlers who throw fits, or we can work through it and try and find a strategy to effectively deal with what's next without um, without being immature about it. So maybe Moses is working on that, and if that's the case, then it's really something we can learn from, that when we don't get what we want, it's not about throwing a fit but it's really about trying to find an effective way forward. And Moses this week demonstrates that in his absence, and as a result, maybe, steals the spotlight back from his brother Aaron. Shabbat Shalom.